From suites with two stories and a slide to tiny rooms with no windows, there are plenty of options when it comes to booking a cruise ship cabin. Guests traveling on a budget may want to choose the cheapest cabin possible, but what can you expect with this type of cabin? Here we go. Deciding whether to book the biggest suite on a cruise ship or a small interior room depends on how much you are willing to spend on a cruise vacation. Prices of staterooms on a cruise ship can range drastically. From $700 per person in an interior room to $7,000, there's room for any budget. It can be tempting to try to find the lowest price to save money on your vacation, but what sort of stateroom are you committing to in the process? Here's the important things to know about booking the cheapest cabin on a cruise ship. First, expect a small room. The old saying, you get what you pay for, usually holds true with cruise ship cabins. Rooms on a cruise ship are usually smaller than hotel rooms to begin with, but when you look for the lowest price possible, you're almost certainly going to get a small cabin. How small is small? The average size of an inside cabin is 167 square feet, although it varies from ship to ship. Next, inside rooms have no natural light. If you've never stayed in an inside cabin, one of the first things you'll notice after the size of the cabin is how dark it gets when the lights are off. Interior rooms do not have a window or balcony, so once the lights are off, it gets pitch black in there, aside from any light coming from your bathroom or perhaps from the hallway. If you are a light sleeper, having very dark conditions can be great for sleeping, but you will also have no idea if it's 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. if you were to wake up on your own. Certainly setting alarms is helpful. Some cruisers bring a sunrise alarm clock, which is a light that gradually comes on in the half hour leading up to your preset wake up time, simulating a sunrise. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line even has virtual balcony staterooms available. These are interior cabins with a floor to ceiling television that displays a real time stream of the view outside the ship. While it does not provide natural light, it can be a nice addition to an otherwise dark interior cabin. Next up, even if you book the cheapest stateroom, you still get your own bathroom. So don't worry, you don't have to go to a public bathroom if you book the cheapest cabin. All cruise ships have their own bathroom in the cabins, so there's no need to worry about having to walk down the hall to use the bathroom like in a hostel. In fact, most times the bathroom in the cheapest cabin is the same size as the bathroom in other cabins like balcony rooms. While it isn't big, the cheapest rooms will have a shower, toilet, sink, and usually some shelving or organization. Outside of the bathroom, what can you expect to be in your cabin on a cruise ship? At the very least, here's what you will typically find in an inside or ocean view cabin. Two beds that can convert into a larger bed, table or desk, a sitting area such as a chair, sofa, or love seat, a safe, closet and some storage space, and a television. To accommodate more guests, there's either a Pullman bed or two that come down from the wall, or there's a sofa bed. Another way to get a cheap cruise ship cabin is by letting the cruise line pick your room assignment. This is called a guaranteed cabin, and it is when you skip picking the exact cabin number and location, and later on the cruise line informs you of which cabin assignment you have. This can be done for ocean view and balcony rooms too, in addition to interior cabins. And this allows the cruise line the option to sell more desirable cabin locations at a higher price to others while fitting you into whatever cabins are left over. If you don't care that much about your cabin location, picking a guaranteed room can be a great money saving strategy. But if you are more prone to seasickness or just want to be closer to a certain part of the ship, choosing a guaranteed cabin might end up with disappointment. With guaranteed rooms, there is a slim chance you could get upgraded. The cruise line guarantees the category you book at or higher, and occasionally people get upgraded when the category they booked at sells out. So what is the best reason to go cheap on a cruise ship cabin? People that book the cheapest cabin usually repeat this truth about cruise ships. There's so much happening on board and in the ports you visit, how much time will you really spend in your cabin? Other than sleeping, changing, and showering, time spent in your cabin is usually limited. Cruise ships are designed to keep you entertained with all the activities and things to do, that spending a lot of money on a cabin you will barely spend time in may seem counterintuitive. Money you save on a cabin can be spent on a drink package, shore excursion, or even another cruise. Ultimately, what cruise ship cabin you decide to book comes down to what you prioritize on your cruise vacation. If you are on a budget, booking the cheapest cabin available will give you more flexibility in spending money on extras like drink packages and onboard spending. If you are someone who loves a private balcony, don't hesitate to book a balcony room. And if you're willing to spend a little extra for more comfort, you may consider a suite. What type of cruise ship cabin do you prefer to book? And are you willing to book the cheapest room possible to save money? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy cruising!